This is Xiao ESP32C6, a brand new module from Seed Studio featuring RISC-V ESP32C6 microcontroller with various connectivity options including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee and Thread. This module is mother compliant which makes it a great fit for home automation and Internet of Things. In this quick video we're gonna do unboxing, we're gonna have a look at the technical specifications and we're gonna have a look at the software compatibility as of the moment. Xiao ESP32C6 comes in a plastic bag which is very easy to open. Please note that classic pin heads as well as antenna are not included to reduce um, component waste. So you need to buy them separately if you need them for your project. Xiao is a line of modules from Seed Studio, all of which have the same dimensions and USB-C. However, different versions have different microcontrollers. And this is a version with ESP32C6. Xiao ESP32C6 is powered by highly integrated ESP32C6 system on a chip by Espressif. It's built with two 32-bit RISC-V processors. The first is a high-performance processor running with speed up to 160 MHz. The second one is a low-power 32-bit RISC-V processor which can be clocked up to 20 MHz. There are 512 KB of SRAM and 4 MB flash on the chip. The key feature is that Xiao ESP32C6 is Mother Native compliant thanks to its enhanced wireless connectivity. This module supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, Zigbee and Thread. There are 15 GPIO pins in total. 11 of them are digital pins capable of PWM modulation and 4 of them are analog pins for ADC, analog to digital converter. Xiao ESP32C6 natively supports several hardware communication buses, UART, I2C and SPI. In the summer of 2022, C-Studio released their first Xiao module with a RISC-V microcontroller. This was Xiao ESP32C3. Now approximately uh, 80 months later, at the end of March 2024, C-Studio announced their second module with a RISC-V microcontroller and this is the impressive Xiao ESP32C6. The difference is in the last letter the previous model with RISC-V was ESP32C3, this is ESP32C6 and this module is really exciting because it has so many additional connectivity options. There are two options how to power on Xiao ESP32C6. The first option is to connect an appropriate USB Type-C power supply at 5 volts. The other option is to power it from batteries with the input voltage of 4.2 volts. All ESP devices are so popular because they're developer friendly. Xiao ESP32C6 is no exception. It's compatible with both Arduino IDE and the ESP IDF. In long term, I expect that more uh, programming languages and frameworks will be ported to it. Xiao ESP32C6 comes at a very affordable price. Right now, you can pre order the module for a little bit more than 5 US dollars, excluding taxes and shipping. The dimensions of Xiao ESP32C6 are standard for any Xiao module, which means 21 by 17.5 millimeters. All components are mounted on the front side of the module, which means that there are no components on the back of the module, which is really convenient if you want to fit it into your own printed circuit boards. Xiao modules are really compact and convenient for various projects. You can use true hole to solder pins and mount it on a breadboard, which makes the Xiao modules 
uh, really convenient for makers, but it is also possible to use surface mount technology and to embed Xiaomi modules in products like the Anavi Macropart keyboards that I'm doing. These are mechanical keyboards with Xiao RP2040. With Xiao ESP32 C6, you can think of various small gadgets for Internet of Things and home automation. Actually, I have a few ideas that I'm gonna try out in the coming months. This was a quick unboxing video about Seed Studio Xiao ESP32 C6. In the coming months, I'm gonna explore this extraordinary module more. I'm gonna do a deep dive in the software, try out the Arduino IDE and many more things that I have as an ideas as of the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this type of content and stay tuned for new videos.